Let's try and get stuck into this. Hey guys, welcome to Charlotte Roval. I apologize for not doing too much content this week. I'll be honest, I've done races every day, but um, I feel they're kind of boring. <laughs> Firstly, because once the field spreads out, you're going to have your typical carnage. And uh, if you want to watch crashes, then I could put a video up every day. But my pace is just, it's just not there today and um, or this week. Last week at Zolda, I was right up there, you know, top four, and just really consistently just off uh, the leader's pace. But man, oh man, we're getting people like Car20 are getting like right up here. This is the strength of field day. That's three point something, I think 3.3, 3.4 strength of field, which is the highest I've seen all week. Um, far out. Struggling, really struggling. So I just want to get into a groove, do my thing. I've qualified today. We're mid-pack, car 10, sorry, car 12, P10, 32.4. I think my optimal was about a 32.3, so I wasn't that far off. Let's see how we go. We've got my mate Kev here and Christian Perez. Just double check. He didn't qualify. It's like he had a crack, but didn't qualify. Thanks to everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet... Click on that link Hello, below. Everyone. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully, I can give you some good racing. Tenth position. The track temp is 29 Celsius. Okay, Glenn. Here we go. Green, green, green. And for some reason, since the update midweek, I've really been struggling for frames. I've turned it down a little bit. On your left. Give him room. Put away. On the throttle early. Good. Sort it out, mate. What was that? Now it's 30 degrees it's today. Great. All right. We've Stop. avoided right. some crap. Let's build on it. Now, I was going to go through, I'm not qualifying for every single race, but to be honest, it didn't really make a difference. I just kept trying the not qualifying method. And by the time all the crashes happened, I was well off the pace and on my own. And I'm really struggling with the two chicanes, especially the first one. I'm not getting out of the first chicane. David, 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 that's it. <laughs> what is going on? David, why, man? P9. You're out, you're out, yourself, but then you turned in. Hello there. My God, Gary, my God. Look at the, we'll have a look at the replay after. Unfortunately, he was behind us. Kevin's not having too good a run. He hasn't my done God, that many Gary. races here. I mean, I've enjoyed the challenge of um, nutting out the track. But yeah, it's a handful. <laughs> you got to be thinking about every single bit the whole time. You, you can't go off into, you know, daydream land, which I tend to do quite often.
leader has just done a 132.58. Yeah, so we're not going to see any records today. Yesterday we did, it was 21 degrees, and um, before that, there wasn't that many people in the 29s, but um, in that particular race, the top five were in the 29s, and so was last place. So I got my personal best of a 30.6, but just being a second off the pace, far out. Difficult. So Benji's kind of caught back on the train. Just stay with these guys, it'll be good. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.1 seconds. It's all good. Come on, Connor. Be fine. Keep fighting, boys. Fastest lap for Edwards, 131.70. The gap to Sanchez behind is now 0 0.40. These guys are fighting up ahead, which is good. But Xavier's coming as well. Okay, Glenn, hold your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. I'll stay low, Xavier. Right side. Hold your line. Clear to the you right. You the faster guy to catch up. Come on, mate. Right, lost position. one, gained one. Fastest lap for Edwards, 131.61. Yeah, those guys are freaks up there. E9, that was a I need to try and get a bit closer to this wall and I'll get the cut in a bit better. It's all going to plan so far, just hope that Xavier up here can just catch up to Benji a little bit. He was really good on his chicane, so. That's a new fastest lap for Edwards, 131.43. You're reeling Sanchez in, the gap is 0.45. The guy behind has just done a 131.72. Yeah, Pip will be back. Don't you worry.
Let's help the Delta a little bit. Okay, Glenn, keep running on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. There's two packs of three. It is flying. On his own too. I'm using a slipstream. Lap for Edwards, 131.34. That lap time was 132.00. The car ahead has just done a 131.60. The guy behind has just done a 131.44. Yeah, yeah. Out. Bloody shame. I know he's been a little, doing a lot of the uh, BTS sprint. Hence his low car number. <laughs> I think he wanted to come back and do the if he's hoping it'd be a lot better than the sprint. Guy in front is Sanchez. You can see where Pep's making up all the time in that chicane. It's all good. That was a 131.70. The guy behind has just done a 131.32. 31.3, that's about a tenth off the leaders. <laughs> Do you know what I mean about brain farts? Now it's 1.1, 1 1.2. It's now 1.1. They're all playing nicely so far. We've got Hunter and um, Benji taunting each other, but they're not doing anything stupid. Maya is closing in. The gap is now 1.6. Yeah, Guy yeah. has just done a 131.32. Here comes Pep. 
he's got the toe. Bullshit. It's very disheartening when they get half a second in exactly. one corner. Like, what am I doing wrong? After the chicane, Pep, it's all yours. The leader has just done a 131.10. Go low, mate, go low. Fastest lap for one side. Hold your line. Clear to the left. That was a 132.74. Come on, Glenn. God, don't panic. We'll get him back. He's driving at the latest pace. Hmm, Zabie is right on Connor's butt. Plenty of room behind us. Back where we started. <laughs> but you watch their lines, they're not even doing any really much different. Gap to Maya ahead is now 0.8. Can I break my wheel off? To Now this is why I haven't put too many videos up. That's what I'm really enjoying about the skippies at the moment is, you know, some tracks really gel. I was pumping Zolder. That was so good. Fighting for all those one one percenters and then come here and I'm like, are you serious? It's about you, mate. Still behind increased to 18 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. A9. still in front of Xavier, but for how long? This is where I'm making up spots. As soon as I go too wide up there. Last light was at 132.08. The car behind's pitting. I don't even hit the apex. <laughs> I hit the walls. <laughs> the gap to Maya is up. increasing. It's now 1.2 seconds. Okay, Glenn, the next car is Maya. 
Two wide again up there. Klaus and Ian and Leo. It's not over yet. You need to push if we're going to hold this position. That's a new fastest lap for Maya on 30.94. Tenth off in sector one. Sector two is 0 0.47 off the pace. Sector three is 0 0.6 off the pace. Uh, 30.9 far out. Must be a net code thing, he lost the wheel and gained a wheel. <laughs> oh good. Xavier Connor still fighting. Your last lap time was at 132.15. Yeah, but we're in one pace, mate. Ruby. Hang in there, mate. Was there contact? So I've noticed participation has been down. Um, I think a lot of people are avoiding the carnage side of this, but for me personally, I'm still trying to get the rates in every day because personally, I really enjoy the challenge of of something. Just with, okay, just out of my reach. The app to Maya ahead is increasing. <laughs> it's now 4.0 seconds. Eighth place, two laps left. You've just done a 132.62. The car behind is pitting. What there hasn't been this week is that strong pack element. The nature of the track is as soon as you go to make that late move, the whole pack loses about a second and a half. You see, they'll sit in single file for quite a while. As soon as they start to make a move, they'll lose that second and a half and if they make a move at the last chicane, quite often there's a crash. <laughs>
White flag fever. Last lap. Gap to Maya ahead is increasing. It's now 5.9. Here we go. The Klaus, Leo, Ian. Will they play nice? So far they are. Simon and Victor are having a bit of a toe to toe. Somebody pushed me over. Flat took me out. Yellow flag, watch out. Freebie. P7. There we go, it's over. Bring it back round. At the end of the day, it's the results, isn't it? It's, it's not a very satisfying race. Pep, that was really, really impressive pace, mate. Well done. Thank you, Willan. Nice racing. I swear you guys have got a shortcut or a cheat or something. <laughs> I've been driving this track every single day, and you guys have been gaining time, and I'm just sitting there on the same time. I don't know how you do it. What happened to Simon? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but he was in first. There's only these two up front. They had a nice big gap. Uh, you can tell the temperatures are you can tell the temperatures are up if these guys are doing a 30.9 in a slipstream so too wide this is what i mean about too wide you're either whenever i see too wide here this week i'll just back it off because you get this so he's gone way too hot And poor Simon's just been totally taken out. And it happened to me once through the week. You lose all drive. You can't do anything. Looks like he's actually stuck in the wall. Sorry again, Denji. We both ran out of room and we got the worst part of it. What happened to me, mate, Kev? He wasn't impressed on the first lap. I've had some really good races with Kev. <laughs> Here's Christian. Christian's one of the fastest on the track, and here we go. I don't know why he's dropped his I rating down. Kev. Uh, he's given all the room in the world. Christian's taking it like a hot. Sucked it out, mate. What was that? Christian Braves. I expect you to go so slow. Okay, I'm sorry.
He's done the uh, the old Glenergy conservative approach. <laughs> that was a huge net code. Mate, why did I come back to this race? I do not. A lot of people were. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. That's this. <laughs> Bit of the old horizontal <laughs> waltz. <laughs> now I can see what they all are. We got his free repair. Hitting all the apexes. Why'd you quit, knackers? Alt F4. It's a damn shame. Let's see how the results turned out. I don't think it's going to be too bad. P7. It's really not satisfying. <laughs> That's enough coffee. Come on, Nakers. So 33, 83. I think it's the highest strength of field I've been in. Got 43 points. A hundred. Sorry, 43 I rating. 138 points. Nice. Right, this sheet here is what it's all about. You know, in the championship for me, that's a that's a bit of a gain. That's a lot of a gain, actually. Had some really bad results. Pep had the, you know, car 19. This is the nature of this week. Car 19 has the fastest lap of the race. And he did it on his own. So, well done, Pep. And Simon, 962, 948. Klaus was close. These two are very close. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Down if you didn't. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. My video is almost done. I'm about two-thirds of the way through production. I'm just going through the motions at the moment. Hopefully, by the end of the week, it'll be up online and something very different to what I've done in the past. I look forward to showing it to you guys, and I'll look forward to seeing you on track soon. Bye.